Hi. <laughs> food pretty much I rely a lot mostly on my dad when he comes home because he is the cook in my family my mom not so much so I decided why not try to make something and see if it's edible <laughs> or like me trying to make something that I know or I don't know something but I don't want to make it like directly out of a box really or like make frozen food because <laughs> I want to be an independent person for once. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be trying to make stuff. This is going to be like the most interesting thing. Um, what I think I could make would be macaroni and cheese. Wow, I just like chopped that up. <laughs> okay. Um, but it won't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes. So I got the mac and cheese. This is obviously what I'm making today. Um, just kidding. I'm not actually going to be making this. I just found this in my... Oops. I'm out of, I'm out of brains. Um, I obviously am not going to be making this kind of mac and cheese. This stuff sucks. And, um, I just don't want to make it that way. I'm making it the other way. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be making mac and cheese just like that. I am actually going to be making it to a straight up noodle. Just kidding. That's not how you make mac and cheese. So anyways... I'm going to be making it a different way, so, um, I don't know, I think these are like good macaroni noodles, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> and, <coughs> you obviously need cheese, because, what's macaroni without the cheese, it's just this, obviously. So obviously you need cheese if you're going to make macaroni and cheese. So I got some cheese because I'm clever. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that was sad. And then I got, obviously, the pot. I just blanked badly. That was sad. So I got the pot. I'm going to be putting the water and noodles in because you gotta cook the noodles unless you want to eat some crunchy noodles which i mean i guess i could eat that i mean my friends say this is gonna be sad my friends say that macaroni noodles are good should i try it ah got stuck on my tooth <laughs> oh Okay, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> You're not stuck in my tooth again. Oh my. If you have braces and you eat anything, it gets stuck in your teeth. Especially meat related things. And it freaking sucks. And if you're vegan or vegetarian, I'm sorry. Alright, we're gonna move on. Obviously, start this puppy up. Mm. So, well, I mean, so obviously, uh -oh. I need to fill the pot with water.
Okay, that's good. And then you gotta turn on high. Uh oh. I guess. I'm waiting until this puppy boils. Which that's gonna be a while. So I decided, um, why not try to make something else? Um, this is not my original idea. This is actually Ooh. This is actually something my friend gave me the idea of. Because her family does it and I was kinda like I actually kinda like what they're doing, so I'm gonna copy it. Just kidding. I give full credit to them because this is their idea, so. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering why I'm getting a tortilla. Well, what I'm making actually involves a tortilla. Oh my god. Least coordinated person in the world. So anyways, you get a t tortilla. Next thing you get is peanut butter. I got the peanut butter. Um, we don't have marshmallows, which I do recommend putting marshmallows with this. <laughs> with the tortilla. Um, because it actually kind of tastes like a s'more if you do that. But we don't have marshmallows. Which sucks. Um, we do have Hershey. Little Hershey kissy things. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna... I'm so out of it. So anyways, you open your... Your peanut butter. Unless you're allergic to peanut butter, just don't. Don't do this. Or anyone do this. But I mean, like, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, but I saw what they did, and I'm kind of copying what they did. So anyways, you take your mar <laughs> you take your marshmallow, you take your peanut butter, and you you put it on your tortilla. And that's not enough peanut butter. When you're done with your peanut butter, well, you gotta smear peanut butter all over your tricky. Yeah. Um, this, oh no. <laughs> Where's the. Where's the scissors? <laughs> Parents are moving the scissors again. Here's my scissors. Okay. Okay. So you take a little bit of your Hershey's. Oops. And you go like that. Oh, you can't even. Well, I mean, like. Okay. You can't really see in general because, yeah, you just can't. Okay, so anyways, you take your Hershey's and you sprinkle them. Oh no, my water is boiling. Well, anyways, you sprinkle them. You, I'm gonna put some more on there. Sprinkle them and you burrito it. After that, turn it into a burrito. Like, you actually have to fold it, though. Um, let me get a plate. And then you cook it in a minute. But I gotta do the noodles really quick. Hold on. My goodness. Oh. Oops. I got me baby spoon for when I stir. Yeah. But back to your tortilla thing. Once you like do that kind of. But if you have marshmallows, it's gonna look better than that, but I don't have marshmallows. So anyways, um you can do it in your microwave. So I'm just gonna put it in there. Oh my gosh, that's an awful noise. So, put in your microwave and you set it for, I think, two minutes. Pretty sure. Set it for two minutes. I mean, if it's any good, I'll tell you all. 
Ooh. So I had to turn my burrito off early because it started deflating. Well, not deflating. It like started getting really, really big. It's gonna be interesting. Okay. Look, it got bigger than when I put it in there for. This burrito, I got a fork because there's a ton of air in there. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, I can't cut it. I just have to, like, bite it. Why is it so hot? I didn't. Uh, Marmite. Oh. Okay. My <laughs> my microwave thing literally over there usually doesn't make things very hot. This thing got extremely hot in like no time. It was in there for like forty seconds. Peanut butter. It tastes good. Peanut butter does. I'm not the. <laughs> oh my god. Hot. It's actually really good. It was just kind of hot. You know, I wasn't even the one who, like, found it. I still recommend it because it's good. Look at my food. It's cooking. Noodles are taking forever to cook. Oh my goodness. I would say it's done. Alright. It's pretty good. I got me noodles in there. Some of them fell out because I'm obviously really bad at clutching things, but I got my noodles. It's just like the hard part. I have to get... Oh my god, there's something in it! trying to get oh. <laughs> oh my gosh okay so now I get to do the noodle part fun part Woo! Oh. I forgot to turn off the stove <laughs> that could have been bad so I'm just putting butter on here because I heard when making things stuff sticks to the side if you don't put like some kind of like propellant so I'm just literally putting butter everywhere this is like a buttload of butter I probably shouldn't have put this one somewhere well I know for a fact it definitely won't stick all right now I can put the noodles in there there we go so I got the I got. <gasps> I'm an idiot, okay? Alright, so I just dropped noodles everywhere. Because I'm smart. <laughs> Anyways, I got the lower part of it done. I forgot. Literally, when you put butter or like stuff slips. Okay, I picked them up. <laughs> now for the cheese.
bit creamier. Just pour all the cheese on it. Just kidding. I'm not gonna pour all the cheese on it. I will pour a little off. Just some milk in here. This mac and cheese needs some milk. I'm gonna be doing this. waiting for the oven to preheat. It's taking forever too. See you back when the timer beeps and I'm putting it in the oven. Well, anyways, it's in the oven, and I have to wait for like 40, 35 minutes until it like looks starts, oh my goodness, until it starts t looking good. I was about to say tasting good. And to set a timer. I'm gonna set it for 38 minutes. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then I think we'll be good. I feel like a cooking channel right now. It's just kind of sad. Anyways. So yeah. <laughs> I can't even do a thumbs up. <laughs> almost tried to touch the thing. Mm, that's like freaking too hot. Mm. <gasps> no! <laughs> Mac and cheese without having to get it directly out of a box. Even though it does take like forever. But I'm actually kind of glad I did this because means I won't exactly die when I'm older and I can do things and I do know how to use appliances kind of I sort of kind of know how to do appliances I gotta end this video I mean I would make a lot more food if I could but I need to have more ideas of what I should cook next really so, like, there might be a part two to this. I would just have to figure out what I would make. And thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye!